So, uh, Adal, thank you for uh, being here at the opening event. It's amazing that you fly mm -hmm. over to Belgium to come here. Um, we stand here in front of a special piece of you. Mm -hmm. It's called the piano. Yeah. Why is it called the piano? Well, first of all, thank you, Annelies, for inviting me to, to participate with your gallery because it's really, really nice space and I think, well, not just this, no, like the, the artists that you choose and I think you have a really beautiful line and I'm, I'm very excited to be part of this. And yeah, the sculpture, the piano. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a sculpture I did in 2016 or 17, around. I imagine like two, two boys um, that they want to reach a piano that's really huge, you know? And there are these two figures and one is called helping the other and, and I like the idea that when we are children we, we, we just want to play and we don't ask why. No, you just live the present, the moment and, and you enjoy, you know? And I think as we grow up we, we tend to forget this and sometimes we we get trapped with this and I think it's important that to forget, I to, to remember that life is it's about the moment. But this was my first idea and, and I started the sculpture and since I, I was doing it, I think it evolved to something else. Uh, because then the, um, the upper figure is it much lighter figure, it's longer, so in a way the, the second one is grounded, it's more heavy, it's more attached to the egg. Uh, and the colors are more like brown and yeah and earth colors and the other one yellow next to the sky it's more like the, the thinking you know, the, yeah. the more the ideal world no? so they are two two different type of bodies and and the, the arms they elongate like to the infinite you know <laughs> so it it evolved the concept for me while I was doing it but I kept the name of the piano because I thought it was yeah, my first idea was drive me to do something else, and I wanted to keep this this idea of um, like playing with the fingers yeah. to to play the piano. And so. um, what is special? So you start here. It's actually a, a piece in resin, but on top of that, you start here with brown color, and then it goes to green. Yeah. You you do this uh, more spontaneously, or uh, how do you choose? Um, I think colors help a lot to connect the sculpture with the background. Uh, in the moment that I have a green there, uh, if there is something else green in the, in the room, uh, it, it feels like there is a communion and it, it, they live well together. I think the sculpture it lives in a place and this place changes because if I'm here around and I'm wearing something blue or yellow, it's also affecting how you see the sculpture, how it changes the light. Um, so I, I really like to play the color with the color because it gives a, a, a new life. And, and the same reason no, that to give different colors is creating new narratives. They are complementary. Uh, one is thinner, like the other is stronger. Uh, I play with contrast. Yeah. I play with contrast between sharp lines and soft uh, transitions um, with uh, yeah, more flat surfaces and more like um, with surfaces with more movement yeah, and with the color. Your yeah. yeah. hands. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I really like to, to keep the, my fingerprints, no? If, yeah. if a detective would come, they, they would know that I was the assassin of the, of the sculpture. Because yeah, it's crazy how the, the silicone it, it takes really all the marks, no? Yeah. And I think it makes the, the sculpture more personal and it's like when the people see it they, they can feel that this is made by sa by someone, not yeah. by a person. And and also that it looks a little bit like a battle. That when you get close you see textures that they are stronger, some thinner. Uh, there's nothing like repeating. No, there is a lot of variety on the on the composition, but also on the surface. You know? that I like to think that people can enjoy the sculpture from the distance uh, for the whole composition, but they could spend hours like seeing every part because every part there is a new world, no? and you zoom in and you zoom out and you see new things. And if if I would work with a very like a 
smooth sculpture, I wouldn't have this uh, yeah. this effect. I would look from the sculpture from here, and that's all. Yeah. But that doesn't like the Try sculpture yeah. call me to to go closer. Yeah. Now.